Hey there, everybody. We're talking about should we be able to use ChatGPT in the classroom? We already know that ChatGPT just searches the internet for answers. So why is it any different than Google or Wikipedia? If we try and block this in classrooms, students are just gonna wait to use it until they get home, or they're gonna jump on their phones and use it. So why not take advantage of it? So here are some things that my classroom did uh, to check on ChatGPT, and we'd love to know in your comments what you have used ChatGPT to do. So one of my classes asked it to write an essay about John Lewis and the civil rights, and it gave us this, which was great. But then the students were like, if I turn that in, my teacher's gonna know that I cheated because I'm only supposed to write two paragraphs. So then we had it write two paragraphs, and it did a good job. And then we said, well, can it write it as a pirate? And it sure did. I'm not encouraging kids to cheat, and we've talked about this. I believe in natural consequences. I've gotten that across to my students. However, it's the same thing as them going on Google. So this generation, more than any other generation, has it in the back of their mind that like we need to check facts. We need to see what's true and what's not. They've seen a bunch of adults just totally screw that up on social medias and everywhere else. We asked it a quick math problem. It got it right. We also asked it to write some code to make us an eight ball game using Python. We then went to Google and found practically the same code for doing this. Chat GPT is just another tool, another resource for students and adults to learn. And with all of this information at our fingertips, just because we read it on the internet doesn't make it true and doesn't mean it works. So then we have to test it and the, it does. Which reminds me of my favorite quote by Abraham Lincoln. Don't believe everything you read on the internet.